we are back again in my beauty room. I always miss it so much every time I go back to school, but um, you guys are going to be seeing this background for, I would say, the next like two weeks or so because I am on winter break currently, so yeah. Um, I also wanted to quickly mention that I am doing Vlogmas, so if you guys like vlogs, head over to my vlog channel because I am vlogging every single day up until December. I will leave it linked down below. It's just Juicy Jazz Vlogs if you're interested, but anyways, we're all here for TJ Maxx because TJ Maxx is my favorite store ever like seriously obsessed so I literally just went there today and I picked up a bunch of goodies and I wanted to share them with you guys because TJ Maxx is very hit or miss so if you guys are interested in any of these products run to TJ Maxx like tomorrow so I hope you enjoy and let's just go ahead and get started all right let's get all this stuff <laughs> all right I have three bags of goodies Right, guys so I took everything out of the bag just so you wouldn't hear that annoying sound so I'm gonna start off I guess I'll do like beauty skincare first and then I'll do the random things at the end so the first thing I got are a pair of lashes well a pack these are the Cosmania lashes for days you get five packs in here for eight bucks and these are in the style glam wispies they're actually the ones that I'm wearing today I just got a pack <laughs> literally last week same brand just different like color on the side but these literally remind me so much of the Salon Perfect 614 lashes. This is what they look like. You can see they're very wispy, they're very long, they're so pretty, super easy to apply just because the band is so thin and I love them, especially with a look like this that's just so neutral. It kind of makes your eyes look like you have eyelash extensions. That's why I'm obsessed with them because they look so pretty. These are pretty much like the wispies from Ardell, except in my opinion they're better because they're a little bit longer and just they just look better on the eyes in general. You can even glam these up for like a holiday look or something just because they are so long but I still think they're super wearable so I love these I literally think these are the salon perfect 614s which those you can get at Walmart but I think these are the same thing except just different brand different packaging but I love them and they're only eight bucks so definitely recommend them all right next up I got some skincare things that I'm so excited about because I could not believe that they even had this stuff there so they had glam glow at my TJ Maxx and I've been wanting to try glam glow for the longest time but it's so expensive that I was like do I really want to spend that much money on a mask? But they had it at TJ Maxx, and um, I saw this there, and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to try it, just because like I've heard so many good things about their masks. So this is the uh, Hollywood California Glam Glow Flash Mud Brightening Treatment. This retails at TJ Maxx for $40, which that's still very pricey, but I looked it up on Sephora's website for this size of the tube. The 1.7 ounces of this is $69 on Sephora's website. So I thought that was a really good deal. Um, it was sealed and everything, so you don't have to worry when you're getting stuff at TJ Maxx. It's brand new. Just obviously check it before you buy it. But this was brand spanking new. I literally just took the little seal off of it, but oh my gosh, it smells so good. Kind of <laughs> kind of has like a citrusy scent a little bit um, but I'm really excited about this because like I said I've heard nothing but good things about Glam Glow some things were a little bit of like a mixed review which is one of the reasons why I didn't really want to splurge if it wasn't going to be amazing but overall they have really great reviews so I'm really curious about this let me know if you've tried this down below I thought even though it is still expensive I still think it's a good deal just considering how much it really is at Sephora then I got the Glam Glow Super Cleanse Daily Clearing Cleanser I just recently did like literally my last video was my nighttime skincare routine and I'm obsessed with the Shea Moisture Black African Soap line that she has. It is so good on my skin but I'm always down for trying out new skincare products because I've been really into skincare for the past couple of months. So I got this and this was $20. So originally on the website I believe this was like $40 on Sephora's website so I thought it was a good deal just considering how big the bottle is and I'm all about new cleansers. So this has a lot of really good claims which is one of the reasons why like I was so pulled in by it. So it says it's a revolutionary mud to foam daily cleanser that changes color and transforms mud into a gentle and effective foaming lather to dissolve oil and makeup, rinsing away poor clogging debris, impurities, excess oil, and it's designed to reduce the appearance of skin imperfections, absorb excess sebum oils, and create a mattified super clear complexion. Now those are a lot of claims for a cleanser, so I am excited. It comes with a really nice pump, which I love. I love when stuff has pumps, especially when it's expensive. I don't even want to squeeze me out because it was expensive still, so 
I'll keep you guys posted on this and all the other products that I use, so just be on the lookout. Don't hate me, I got more skincare stuff. Um, I got the Pearl Essence Aloe and Charcoal Facial Cleanser. Don't ask me why I got two things. I just, I'm so easy to sell to and I'm so easy to like... <laughs> When it comes to buying stuff, I'm just like a sucker for like packaging, brands, claims, like I'm all about that. But anyways, this is the Aloe and Charcoal Facial Cleanser. It says it gently cleanses the skin, removing surface oils, makeup, and impurities. The reason I got this specifically is because the brand Pearl Essence is a brand that I use for my cucumber water that I also got from TJ Maxx, and I love that. It's so, so amazing. So I was like, maybe this is going to be just as good. So I figured I would give this a shot, and I love anything that's like black charcoal, minty on the skin. Mm, this smells literally just like mint and I love that because I really feel like it works well with my skin I used to use black charcoal and stuff all the time and it, I love it So really excited about that as well and, and I got another skincare product and this is the Alba Botanica Hawaiian detox scrub It's a anti-pollution volcanic clay no parabens or synthetic fragrances. It has 100% vegetarian ingredients in it so the cute little packaging honestly is what intrigues me but to be quite honest with you I've tried stuff from this brand at TJ Maxx like as far as eye creams and stuff and I haven't been a huge fan but I figured I would give this a try just because it did say detox scrub on it. It's been a while since I've gotten a good detox for my skin as far as my face so I figured I would give this a try. Um, you can also use it on your neck which I think is great. It has like a minty sweet. I always get scared that I'm gonna get this on my nose has like a minty sweet scent, which is nice. Okay, so then I also got this Algenist Champagne Soft Gold Concentrating Luminizing Drops. They just look like this. I thought this would be perfect just to kind of mix into foundation. It was only $9.99, which I thought was a good deal. Isn't this brand expensive? I feel like I've heard of it before, like on YouTube, and I think it's expensive. It comes in a cute little container like this with a dropper, which I love. And I'm thinking about mixing this in with foundations um, because I love glowy skin even though it's winter this is pr really pretty do you see that oh has a really light scent it smells really really nice that is beautiful I mean for 10 bucks for this I really don't think you can beat that all right next I did get some hair products so I first got the macadamia natural oil rejuvenating shampoo I've tried the deep repair mask but that's honestly the only thing that I've ever tried from this brand it is pricey but the which I'll talk about in a minute the hair mask works so well in my hair and it's transformed my hair within the past couple of years I used to bleach my hair and dye it all the time and like it was just in such a bad place at one point it would fall out in clumps and this I'll talk about it in a minute. I should talk about this first, but this deep conditioning mask helped my hair so much that I thought the shampoo would be really amazing as well. So this says it's color safe, no added sulfates, paraben free, and it's a moisturizing shampoo for dry or damaged hair. My hair isn't so much dry or really damaged, but I definitely do need a trim. I'm getting my hair done on Wednesday. As you can see, I have split ends. I'm getting some long layers or something because it's just so long and weighed down that it just needs a little bit of like an oomph. So I'm getting it done on Wednesday and so I figured I would get a nice new shampoo because I love the one that I'm using but I'm kind of sick of it like at the same time I like to switch up my products every couple of months and I've been using my Ion color solution shampoo from Sally's Beauty Supply for a long time so it's time for something different so I picked this up and this was $16.99 which yes that is pricey for a shampoo but this brand is really good and it works well with me and um, this is a big bottle though this is 33.8 fluid ounces so I mean if it's gonna do what it says I'm happy with it, so let's go ahead and smell it. Watch it smell like poop. No, I'm just kidding. But the shampoo or the conditioner smells really good, so I thought this would. It smells amazing. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. All right, so this is the infamous Macadamia Deep Repair Mask. This is expensive. This is $23 for the big two, but if you do the math and you see how many fluid ounces comes in this versus the small little containers, you're just better off splurging and getting the big one. I just bought one of these last week and I kept it at school in my dorm and I figured I would get another one just for here at home since I'm going to be here for like two and a half weeks. I don't use this every day. Um, I like to use it when I'm in the shower sometimes, but I really love this as a deep repair mask for my hair, like kind of like a deep, deep conditioning hair mask. I like to mix it with coconut oil or sometimes just on its own 
own and I will literally lather my entire head with this. Typically the bottom portion of my hair is where I like to focus conditioners and oils and stuff just because I feel like the top of my hair is healthy. It's like the bottom that needs a little bit of like that oomph. But this works really well if you leave it sit for hours and hours. So like I'll literally wrap my hair up with all of this, with this coconut oil, and then I'll take like a bag, like literally like a TJ Maxx or like a Target Walmart bag, or you can use a shower cap and I'll just let that sit there for like two, three hours. The longer you let it sit, the better. Then I'll go ahead and take the bag off, get in the shower, rinse my hair, and wash it with shampoo like normal. Probably like two times, sometimes three. It depends on how much product I have in my hair that I feel like feels like you have a lot of like residue and stuff. And then I'll just rinse it, get out of the shower, and my hair feels so soft, so just luxurious and healthy. So I definitely recommend incorporating some type of deep conditioning hair mask or coconut oil in your hair if it's extremely damaged because it works wonders. Like I know it says, I was going to say miracles, it works wonders, miracles, it works really well. But if you guys leave this in for like three to five minutes like it says on the back, it's not going to really do what you want it to do. Like the longer you leave in a mask in your hair, the better it is. I promise you. But I know this is expensive, but it's so, so worth it. I'm telling you, I've repurchased this so many times. I used to use this back in high school when I was like 14 and I was bleaching my hair and I was like, girl, what are you doing? Like if I could just go back and slap myself, I would because that was just a hot mess. But this is where it's at. Um, they also have a really good one from Carol's Daughter, if you can't find this. It's from like Target or Walmart. That one's really good as well, but this one, the smell is just what keeps me going because it smells divine and you can literally smell it in your hair like the next day once your hair is dry, so that's why I always go back to it. So definitely recommend checking it out. It does last a really long time as well, which is why I think it's worth it in the long run. All right, next up I did pick up some random things. So the first thing is this organic protein. This is a plant-based protein powder. I thought this would be perfect for smooth these. Whenever I make smoothies, I keep it really simple. I'll use soy or almond milk, frozen berries or fruit, whatever I have. I'll use maybe sometimes a little bit of ice if needed if the fruit isn't frozen. Chia or flax seeds and that's it. Sometimes I'll put like spinach or something in it as well, but I keep it very, very simple. And sometimes, I mean, the smoothies are good, but I want to add a little bit of something extra. So I thought this would be perfect. And I had no idea TJ Maxx even sold this. This is my first time trying a plant-based protein. So I'm really excited about it. And um, they even have a little tropical smoothie um, ingredients right here on the back, which I think is nice. So this is a really big tub of protein. And I mean, for the price, I really don't think you can beat it. This was only $17.99. If you go to GNC or like the Vitamin World or whatever, stuff can get very expensive. So I thought that was a really good deal. I'll definitely keep you guys posted on this. I'm gonna actually test it out tomorrow on my vlog channel. So if you're curious, head over there and check it out. Last but not least, one of my favorite things to buy are fuzzy socks. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have so many fuzzy socks. I just recently got Christmas ones. I'm always in fuzzy socks. Like I'm obsessed, unless I'm at the gym, of course. I don't wear fuzzy socks to the gym, but like when I'm just lounging around in my house, in my room, whatever. I love fuzzy socks. These are from the brand Aerosols, and these were only five bucks for three pairs. It's just what they look like right there. They're super cute. They're like pastel, and they're just amazing. I mean, I just, I love fuzzy socks. You can't go wrong with them. I also picked up the Soul Solutions Thermal Insulated Socks. I hate when my feet are cold, and sometimes it's like in the middle of the night, and it's just freezing, and I can't go back to sleep if my feet are cold, but I can't sleep in socks. So I will literally put socks on until I get sleepy, and then take them off and then fall asleep. So I thought this would be perfect because it is so cold here in PA. It's just like, it's killing me. Like I need some, I need some heat. I need some hot weather, but these socks are gonna have to do. So apparently these are top rated. I don't really know. I've never tried this brand before. They were $7, which is kind of pricey for a pair of socks, but if they work, then I guess it's worth it. I almost forgot about this also. This is the Hemp's Creamy Papaya and Shea Herbal Body Moisturizer. I tried this brand out years ago when I used to go tanning in high school, I know. It's so bad. I don't go tanning anymore. If you go tanning, I suggest you stop. I'm telling you. It's not good for your skin. But I used to go a lot back in high school, and I tried, like, the original. I don't know what it's called. I forget. It's just, like, the white one like this. See how this one's, like, pink a little bit? But the white one felt so minty and fresh on my skin. I really, really loved that. I got that. All right, just making sure I don't have anything in my teeth. <laughs> I got that from Sally's Beauty Supply at the time, and I'm pretty sure they still have this brand there, and I think even at Ulta has it, but I saw this there, and the smell smelled so good. I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have it. It was only $11, which, I mean, that is kind of pricey for a moisturizer, but 
I remember this being so like fresh on the skin like it just felt so good I was like oh I have to try this again and I mean my skin has been so dry and like scaly lately you guys I think it's from the winter I don't know but I've been like itching my skin like crazy and it's just it feels like literally alligator skin like it's not cute so I need some moisture in my life and my body has always been so much more like dry than like my face so hopefully this helps but it's not too strong it's just like a really light like fruity citrus not citrus not citrus I lied it's like a light fruity floral scent which is like right up my alley so can't wait to try this all right guys so that is everything that I got please let me know down below in the comments if you've tried any of these products what are your thoughts I would love to hear from you also let me know what other videos you want to see from me now that I'm on break I have so much more time to film so leave your requests down below thank you guys so much for watching I love you all and I'll see you in a few days in my next one bye